My sponsor, Rock Bottom, is currently running a special deal. Head on over to rockbottomcoins.com and use code ZERK at checkout for a 30% off your order. The whole thing wobbing. What's going on guys? It's Xerxy coming at you today with another YouTube video and today we have everything new with the Series 6. There is so much stuff to get into. If you guys have not seen my video from earlier today, I just uploaded the video going over the entire draft promo. There's so much stuff I decided I would just split it up into two videos because there's just a lot to get into. But with this Series 6 update, here are the Series 6 sets. So we're going to start, of course, with the trophy sets. There are some other new sets in the game I'll go over as well. But we have the Series 6 Master Jordan Reed. And I got to say, this card actually looks pretty decent. Not too bad. Uh, I currently have six of these collectibles just because of the fact that I have the competitive Series trophies. And then, of course, we have the 89-93 to 93 overall lead player, which is only 15. That's not bad. And that's a very big range of players. And then, of course, we have a 94 to 96 overall player. That is going to be a very, very interesting set. Uh, we also have Coach Madden, which gives you a physical and a scheme chem. So, obviously, uh, yeah, need to get Coach Madden done. I'm definitely going to be adding the, my trophies into this. And we also have a new exchange set in the game as well for the new Series 6 update. Go ahead and take a look at that. It's actually pretty good. I might do a video um, opening a couple of these packs if you guys want to see it, just to test it out, see if it's actually going to be pretty good. And as you guys can see, it is going from 90 to 91. So you need two 90 overall players into one 91 overall lead player. I'm honestly not sure exactly like what players could potentially pull out of this, how much it actually costs to do, but I'll do some math on that and uh, maybe push out like 10 of these packs. On Sunday or Monday if you guys want to see it let me know down below I'll see if I can't push those out for you guys also that is something else new we have today with series 6 so as you guys know you can now officially get your team captain completely chemmed out so if you guys have Jerry Rice on your team or you have whatever you can get them all the way up to 99 if you've been playing the entire year if not just keep going on but there is in fact going to be an exchange so if you guys already have your Jerry Rice up to 99 like fully chemmed out which I'm pretty sure uh, that you you shouldn't be able to already i've done all of them and i'm pretty sure now is the official time to when it can be like fully fully kept out but after that there's now a new set in the game once you fully upgraded your team captain you can turn in any leftover captain upgrade tokens for a random quick sell between 10,000 and 500,000 coins so that's actually pretty cool so for you guys been playing all year long and now you're gonna be able to get your jerry rice up to 99 your you know whoever else any leftover tokens you get for the rest of the year, you can go ahead and add this set and get it between 10 and 500,000 coins. That's definitely pretty freaking awesome. Now, also, we have a new objective list as well and a new month level cap, which, yes, it does go up to 90. Now, I believe, I'm trying to remember, there is a 96 overall power-up pass. Uh, I don't believe there's a 97. So, I know you get one, I think it's like level 85, and then you get another power of pass at level 80 or level 90. I'm just not sure if it's a 96 or if it's a 97. They didn't specify. So, of course, I'm going to be staying up all night for you guys. I'm going to get my mutt level up to level 90, and then I'll have that video out for you guys tomorrow. And I'll probably also drop a best players to use a power pass on because I actually pre recorded one uh, for 96 97, but it looks as though it's not a 96. 697 it's just 96 overalls so i'll just have the video out for you guys tomorrow but for the team captain objectives you guys see all you have to do is win 20 games with a team captain in your lineup so pretty easy right there obviously not in player friend and not in these squad events uh new objective list for levels 80 to 89 of course one worth up to 450k and one worth up to 4k training uh once you reach maximum level 90 It'll probably be like 500k and 5k training, I'd imagine. There is also a new Series 6 multiplayer objective list, as you guys can see. Same as usual. Uh, you have to win 200 games, and once you go through, you get 100,000 coins and a bunch of Series 6 stuff. Now, uh, if you actually want to see what this is, I would actually say it right here. So, reaching Mutt level 81 will give you 5,000 training points. Reaching Mutt level 83 will give you two Ultimate Legend Fantasy Packs. Very nice there. Right here, max month level, not max level, but month level 85, will give you guys a 96 overall power up pass. 87, you get a 94 plus ultimate legend player. 89, 5,000 training. And actually, month level 90 is a 97. Hmm. Okay. So I guess I could potentially actually put that video out for you guys to show you which ones to use the 96 or 97s on. 
We'll see if I want to do that or just do two separate ones for the 96 and 97. Let me know down below what should I do with that. But it looks like you actually do get a 96 overall power pass and you get a 97. Pretty interesting stuff right there. Uh, definitely, I think the Mullet Award is pretty good. Also, the in-store packs that you guys are able to get are really, really good for Mutt Levels 81 through 90. I think they're really, really good. And, of course, I'll have that video out for you guys tomorrow going over all of the Mutt Level Rewards. Now, that is not it for the series update. We also have, of course, the Path to Draft Solos, which I went over in my earlier video. A new journey. So, yes, you can get yourself a free 97 Gerald McCoy. So, take a look here. It says Madden 17. Madden 18 and Madden 17, Madden 18. I'm not sure why it says Madden 17, Madden 18, all this. Oh, this is cool. So I guess it's going to be players based off of like different promos from the game. So in Madden 17, of course, we had Rookie Premier. Jonathan Allen was one. Miles Garrett was one. Uh, TJ Watt was one. Jamal Adams. Literally, this is all players that you could have gotten. So we get a gold premium pack out of this one. Uh, the next one in Madden 17, Ultimate Freeze. This is actually really, really cool here. Uh, what other packs did we get for this? So another gold premium pack. So, so far, we have two gold premium packs that we get. And we also get, is that it? Just three gold premium packs. And then the final couple ones here, we get another gold premium pack. Did we get maybe two in this one? No. It looks as though you only get one more gold premium pack. So basically, for every single one, you get a gold premium pack. And then we get, what is this, a game changer pack at the end here? So we get a game changer, a bunch of gold player packs. We actually do get some better packs here. We get an elite player pack as well. Uh, at the end of here, this is a lot of solo challenge play. Holy crap. Madden 17 journey here. This one, we actually get a couple of packs. We get ourselves a gold premium pack. And I think we get an elite player pack as well. So there's a lot of packs here. Or a decent amount of packs. You get like six gold player packs, a game changer, and our gold premium. A game changer and two elite player packs, it looks like. And then at the end here, we get ourselves another gold premium pack. And Jared McCoy. Not too bad. So obviously, I'm going to play all these solo challenges for you guys and try to get, essentially... These done today if I can. And then, of course, I'll get right to the mud level grind. Now, we also have new upgrades for Ricky Williams. So, as you guys can see, there's a couple new levels here. Once you go up one more, you get another catch, a run block, short run running, ball care vision, 97 stiff arm, uh, level tier 68. You get another trucking, another elusiveness here. And then he goes up to 98 overall, which is going to be 95 spin move, 94 juke move, 96 break tackle. He gets to 99 awareness, 94 agility. Then the next one, he gets an excel, a jump, a catch, a short run run, and lead block. Then he gets another 98 overall, which gives him a speed boost, which also gives him pass block, injury, stamina, spectacular catch, medium round running, obviously injury doesn't mean anything here. Uh, next one's going to be strength, pass block power, catching traffic, beat press, deep route run, uh, agility, catch, pass block, short run, acceleration, carrying, spec catch, medium route running, 98 overall, you get an injury, basically stuff that really doesn't matter for this card. And finally, you get him to 99 overall. Look at that card. That looks pretty freaking crazy right there, the card art. Uh, he gets 96 speed, 96 stamina, 72 catch traffic, 88 jumping, 85 strength. This card is going to be pretty good. Now, also, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the Series 6 Masters Jordan Reed stats. So, obviously, there are a ton of new tight ends in the game, but we just got a new Master Jordan Reed. Take a look at your stats. 89 speed, 92 acceleration, 98 catching, 97 catching traffic, 95 spec catch with a 96 short route run, 94 medium route running, and, of course, an 88 deep route run with an 87 release. Definitely a pretty solid card. I wish the jumping was a little bit higher. It's only 89 jumping, which is kind of bad. Uh, 82 run block has an 82 run block finesse. Also has a 75 truck, 83 looseness, 85 break tackle, 86 juke move, and an 80 carry. It's definitely not a bad card. I mean, catching stat wise looks really good. I just wish the speed was higher and the jumping. But those are all of the new sets that we have and everything else new with this Series 6 update. Of course, I'm going to be getting right to the journey. Try and get those solo challenge rewards out for you guys later today. And then I'm going to be going to the mud level grind. Try to get those max mud level rewards. And then also Saturday, you guys can probably expect to see a video going over the 96 overall power pass and the 97 overall power pass. The best players to use it on. Because in my video, I did from the 96 and 97. I really didn't do a lot with the 96 overall players because I was mostly looking at 97s, obviously, when it comes to those two. So I'm not going to build that video already pre-recorded. I'll just delete that one and uh, I'll get you guys a new video out sometime this weekend. Hope you guys did enjoy the video though. And if you did, smack the like button, subscribe and comment. I'll see you guys next time.